Hey, this is Jimmy Beach with Alien Skin Software. I'm borrowing a shot from Robert Lounsbury. It's a picture that he took of a baseball game a few months back. He edited it in exposure, forced a depth of field, and everybody really seems to like the shot in the Facebook group, so I'm going to show you how he did it. Let's learn a little bit about making and managing selections in Photoshop. And this video will lead into a second video where I use bokeh to force the depth of field. But first we need to get this ready in order to use the bokeh. With our image open in Photoshop, I'm going to go to the Quick Selection tool. Press W. And what we want to do is use this for a couple of specific reasons. One, because it's not a rectilinear shape, otherwise I could use the rectangular marquee. And two, because it's not a soft edged shape. So we want to have a crisp edge around our selection. The lasso tool would work, but uh, we would need a trace around this entire person, and I don't really have all day, so uh, we want something quick. W is the way to go. Quick selection tool. So the quick selection tool does just what it says. It quickly makes selections. So I'm going to hold down Alt, and you'll see that the cursor turns to a minus, and that will get rid of some of the little pieces on the selection. It's easy. You just click and drag across the hues that you want to capture in the little selection area. Okay, then we'll go around and basically this is what you do. You'll just clean up your selection a little bit at a time here and there. So we'll add a little bit and then you can see around the edges here where I have a little bit of extra. Hold down Alt, minus, looking sharp, but now we need to zoom in. So I'm going to hit Command or Control, zero. Uh, that was funny. I meant Command or Control, one. That's 100%. Okay, same deal. Minus, hold down Alt. We'll get rid of a little bit here and there. Plus adds to it. Oops, I got some extra grass here. Let me get rid of that. See this finger right here up at the top? Now, if you look at my cursor, it's bigger than his finger. So I'm going to hit the bracket key down. The left bracket key will shrink my cursor just a touch. Boop. Add a little bit more there. That looks good. Uh oh, his arm's out. Now, check this out. I'm going to add back to his arm, and then you can see that we're adding some green over here on the edge. It was irritating me. And sometimes you'll go back and forth a heck of a lot to try to get just a little bit of that edge in. So here we can cheat. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Hold down the space bar to go to this hand tool, the pan tool. I can switch over to my lasso tool, L. And let me go to the right lasso tool. So I'll hit Shift L and cycle through to the correct one. I want just regular lasso like that. And I want to hold Shift so that I'm adding to the selection. Nice and clean. Try to memorize your keyboard shortcuts whenever you can. It'll speed up your workflow more than you would ever, ever understand. So as you're working in Photoshop, you're going to take one pass over the selection, then you're going to zoom in, you're going to take another pass over the selection and keep getting it tighter and tighter. I'm going to zoom back out, Command-0, so that it fits to the screen. Now when I have my selection the way that I want to, instead of making the selection and running Boca, I'm actually going to save my selection so that I don't have to make it again. So how I do that, I go to Select, and then Save Selection. And then you just add a title, and it's good to go. So I'm going to cut off here. This is how to use selections in Photoshop. We're going to get to the second part where I show you how to do it in Boca in just a minute.